Well, the Republic is is rapidly approaching its 15th, nearly 15th year Bondi, which is making it a, an overstayer, certainly inveterate, you know, and one of a literally a handful of survivors in such a difficult trading environment, such an expensive place to do business and a very competitive place as well. You have to have solid beliefs to survive the test of time. You know, your ethics have to be in your DNA. They're not window dressing, they're not add-ons. They have to be core beliefs. My belief in general is that that everything begins with your values and convictions and beliefs and all other things are a derivative of that. So they are influenced by, subject to and shaped and formed, promulgated, uh, developed and operationalized by that type of thinking. Because you can't, you know, you can't be ad hoc with it. And you've got to, you've got to really believe it and follow through. And importantly, you've got to be able to put your money where your mouth is because there is a cost. But to not do so, you know, is a, in my opinion, is a moral dereliction. For instance, we we uh, have a 100% carbon offset with our electricity, and we have done that for a very long time. For me. Uh, it's not an option. It's simply what responsibility means. It's a manifestation of responsibility. But we've been very selective over quite a long time now, and you know we've developed a bit of an ecosystem uh, in terms of our supply chain, and also I have to say in terms of uh, our wonderful community support here. Uh, this doesn't happen in a in a vacuum. This happens because the community choose to support us, and we experience what in, a, in a, a, a world with little or no fidelity anymore, a very high degree of loyalty. So we got rid of plastic bags a very long time ago and yeah, one or two customers got upset because they didn't understand that we all have to make a little more effort to make these things disappear. You know, we have to carry an extra bag and the bags that we use, for example, for packaging our product, uh, craft paper with the tannins and lignans removed. So that gre that's grease proof that dissolves in water and composts very well and the inks are soy based for example. And, and you have to develop within the culture of your organization an interest in these things as well. And, and even here that's not a pushover. It's extraordinary how indifferent some people are to what's going on around us. You know, So I don't take prisoners in that respect. And we've focused a lot on, you know, sort of proximal supply, so the closer the better, and that is a, a surrogate as well for reduced packaging. So uh, shorten the supply chain. So organic is, you know, sure, if you can get organic local stuff, that's great. But if it, if it comes from a long way away and has high embedded energy and it's been flown, so it's sort of really energy intense, the CO2 equivalent is off the charts, then all of its virtue is dissipated. Do you understand what I mean? The planet is suffering from um, multiple afflictions, you know, and the, and the greatest one of all is the sheer, within, when it comes to food, is definitely food miles. And you can have all of these products, you know, uh, uh, certified organic, but they're chronically overpackaged. I'm really conscious of them. In fact, I get really irritated. They really get under my skin. Uh, and so I like to challenge the suppliers, you know, and you're constantly working at it. Like a, the cleaning company who supplies our products, they reuse all of the 20 liter containers. So those are constantly, they're not, re well, recycling isn't the correct word because you're, they're not having to apply any energy to transform them. Reuse is a much better thing. And, and of course, there's one thing in all of this which is absolutely paramount, has the greatest efficacy of all, and that is reduction. You know, reduction, you simply eliminate all of the other problems that are associated. And so if you reduce your packaging, and uh, you reduce your waste, if you reduce your waste, you reduce a whole stream of management. You know?